Hi, I'm Peter Sidwell and welcome to Quick Kitchen. I have got a corker of a recipe for you today. It's super quick, easy. We're cooking a pasta dish. I'm using fusilli pasta, amazing mushrooms. I'm gonna show you how to get the best out of these chestnut mushrooms. They're a very humble um, mushroom. They're not expensive or exotic. They're just chestnut browns. But there's a way to get, rid of, get the flavor really coming out. So let me just grab a knife and we'll get started. So, I've got a non-stick pan. These are can to pan. Okay, so these are actually made out of recycled cans from Masterclass. Super non-stick. Let's get our mushrooms just sliced. Now, you might not realize, but mushrooms are massive carriers of water. And that's kind of what dilutes the flavor, okay? So when we're cooking, it's really important that you draw the moisture out, okay? So we're gonna add some salt to our pan and then get our mushrooms in, okay? So we'll just chop them like that, nice and thin, so they've got a good surface area. That surface area will allow me to get all the moisture out as quickly as possible, so we just get that really nice mushroomy flavor and it's not slimy. Um, when I was a kid growing up, my parents, particularly my mother, bless her, did not know how to cook mushrooms properly. And they were always a bit slimy. Uh, and a lot of people are put off by mushrooms, I think, because they don't know how to cook them properly. So this is how to do it. Salt will draw the moisture out and leave flavour and texture. And you'll find that the moisture comes out into the pan, but then you boil it up and evaporate that flavour out, so you're just left with amazing mushroom. So this recipe will easily feed four people for a fiver, no problem at all. So let's cook those mushrooms down. So the mushrooms, I've spread them out, okay, as thin a layer as possible and as big a surface area. And what we're trying to do is just get all the moisture out. Now we're going to add some more flavour, garlic and mushrooms, they're just, they're made for each other. So I've got three cloves of garlic. Just gonna chop them through. And they can go straight in with our mushrooms as well. Rosemary, garlic, mushrooms, rosemary, they all work together really well. So I've robbed the garden of some because it grows all year long. So just run your knife through, straight away your kitchen will just smell amazing. Oh, love it. Right, give it a little stir. You can see how non-stick this pan is, it's brilliant. Really good for this job. And now our job is to get all that moisture out before we introduce anything else. So if we just get as much moisture out of that as pos. Right, the mushrooms are almost ready. Now I've been, been thinking about what to add to these just to make it a bit, a bit more interesting, a bit more amazing. <laughs> so what I thought I'd do is I'm going to add about 20 grams of butter. You could use um, like a buttery margarine or something like that if you wanted to, if you didn't have the butter, don't buy the butter just for this recipe. If you've got a little bit, add it. I actually freeze butter. So if I, um, if I have a little bit left from baking or anything like that, cut it into little pieces and freeze it. And then what we're going to do is add some lean pairings. Now, Worc do you like Worcestershire sauce, Emily? <coughs> Mushrooms like Worcestershire sauce. Do they? Oh, yes. I feel like it's something I would eat it in something. Can you smell that now? Yeah. Oh, be generous. The Italians will be gunning for me on this one. But What's I it made think out it, of? Eh? What's it made out of? Oh, vinegar, anchovies, all sorts. All oh, right. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my pasta water because it's got starch in it, okay? And that is going to help me make the most amazing sauce. 
as we now boil and reduce this down, we're going to get the most incredible kind of umami, rich, deep mushroom sauce that's going to work really well with pasta. Beautiful. Right. Let's add a little bit of parmesan in there. Make it kind of creamy without adding cream. There, a little bit in there. Parmesan's a great cheese to have because it goes a long way. You don't need much. Look, it's kind of taken on a, a creaminess now. So we'll continue to boil that down and then we will add our pasta when it's had nine minutes, okay? So it's important that you cook it to nine minutes. If it's overcooked, it's gonna make everything really sort of starchy and a bit soft and limp and Couple more minutes and we'll be ready. Shall I try this sauce? Yeah. <laughs> Let me test it first, make sure it's good. Yeah, I've never been. <coughs> we've never. No, Worcestershire sauce has never been something that we've ever had in our house. Mm. What would you else would you put it in? Cheese on toast. People put it in um, shepherd's pie. Really? Shepherd's pie, it's good, yeah. That's weird. Why? Don't ruin the shepherd's pie. And why would it weird? Why would it ruin it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. This I get, because mushrooms are meaty. It's What's the shepherd's pie? Yeah, but... It's meaty. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Something in my head's not computing that that's, that's okay. See what you think of that. Have a little taste. Mmm. So you like that, don't you? Do you not think that would work well in shepherd's pie? No. <gasps> Emily was just asking me what else would I add Leon Perrins to, and I'm like, all over my cheese on toast. Jacket potato, grated cheese on top, Worcestershire sauce under the grill, amazing. That's where I've had it. Yeah. <laughs> You've done that um, me. I quite like it on my sausages while they're in the pan cooking. Um, shepherd's pie. Gives Ooh. such a depth of flavour. <laughs> such a depth of flavour. But can you see how sort of creamy it, yeah, it's it gone? Yeah, it looks like you've added cream to it. It does, it does. And it's got real depth of flavour to it. And then we've got our fusilli pasta here. So what we're going to do now... Sorry, this is a conversation we're having. Yeah. What do you call it? Fusilli. <laughs> Fusilli. 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 <laughs> no, it's Fusilli. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Fusilli. 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 Thank you. Fusilli pasta. See, the Latin man in the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fusilli pasta? Fusilli. It's a northern thing for me, isn't it? No, it's not even northern, Emily. <laughs> West Cumbria. It's Fusilli. just Emily. Right. Fusilli. 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 <laughs> right, in with the pasta. Because we want the sauce to absorb into the pasta and just kind of link it together. And because we've done it al dente, it's still got that opportunity to just kind of marry together. And now we've just got the most incredible pasta coated in this rich sauce with our mushrooms. Once we hit this with some Parmesan cheese, yeah. happy days. This is going to be some dish, I promise you. Okay, so we'll give that a really good stir around. Make sure, keep it on the heat as well, because you want to finish cooking this together now. This is how Italians make amazing pasta. They don't just serve pasta and sauce in a bowl. What they do is they make a sauce and introduce the pasta to the sauce and bring it together. And that's kind of something we haven't quite grasped in here in the UK, but we're getting there. So a little bit of seasoning. There we go. Oh, I can smell that pepper, it's lovely. And that, for me, is an amazing dish. And then finish it with your store cupboard Parmesan cheese that we just keep coming back to because it just adds and you don't need a lot. It goes a long way when you've got a good microplane style um, uh, grater. Once you've got the right grater, it will just go a long way. And that block of cheese will just keep giving back and back and back. But the proof is in the pudding. Right, Emily, here is your fusilli pasta. <laughs> have a little taste, see what you think. I'm gonna have a taste. 
Because this is the killer dish. This. this is a good one. Mm. This oh. is a vegetarian pasta dish that absolutely delivers on flavour. There's no meat required for this dish. It's just really gutsy, isn't it? Yeah. Like it? Mm. Pass me the pan. Yeah. <laughs> If you want the recipe, go to petersidwell.com. You can get it there. Um, and please do share this video with your friends and family. Get in the kitchen and make this pasta dish. I'll see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.